Welcome to Unreal Gems. In this video, we are going to shade Citrine's chain. For that, we are going to use opacity masks, a really simple technique, but essential one in Unreal Engine. Okay, so we are back in Unreal Engine, and this time we are going to shade the chain in Citrine's jewel. So you are going to see that it's quite a simple material. It's just a metal material. We are not going to shade the gems yet. Those materials are going to be more complicated. So in this one, the only new thing is going to be that it is a masked material. So what we can do with masked materials is make things either opaque or transparent, fully opaque or fully transparent, depending on the value of the alpha mask. In this case, we have incorporated the alpha mask in the base color so we don't need a new texture map which consumes more memory so just so you can see it it is quite simple you need to in the material turn on the blend mode masked so you can see it right there select masked and with that you can plug in the opacity mask the opacity texture map so if you want to see how it works it is quite simple as you can see, we used the alpha channel and we connected it to opacity mask. And if you want to see the texture map, how it works, it is quite simple. In this case, we keep sRGB on because this is a color and the alpha channel is treated separately. We keep the compression settings to default. We could switch it to gain precision in the alpha channel, but at the cost of a bigger size. So we are not going to do that. We are going to keep it default. Let's turn off all the color channels. You can see that we have zero and one only, and one is going to be opaque. Zero is going to be transparent. So as you can see, this type of map is quite simple and there is no other science to it. So let's go back to the material and finish explaining everything because the rest is quite simple. So we have the metallic and roughness parameters, so we can switch them. We don't have a specular because I did not want to make the material more complex. The emissive again without parameters to adjust intensity because I did not want to make the material more complex than it needed to be. And then the normal map, which we have already seen a thousand times, so I'm not going to explain it again. It's just to give extra detail down here. Don't pay attention to it. It's just some tests. What we need to pay attention to is the necklace parts that we are going to shade right now and change their appearance using the material instance. In this case, remember, we have a base color, emissive map and normal map, the typical setup, so nothing new there. And we have two parameters to modify the metallic uh, pin and the roughness pin. So let's go ahead and see changing them what happens. So if I go to zero in the metallic, you can see that the necklace is going to turn like plastic and it is not what we are looking for. So let's go ahead and turn it up to one. If I go up to one, it's going to be fully metallic instead of plastic. It's going to look more like the choker in Citrine, but we want an intermediate look and remember that we are shading a stylized character, so we are breaking the rules. That's why I'm keeping it at 0.8 instead of 1 that should be fully metallic. Again, let's check out the roughness. If we go down to 0, it's going to look polished and like mirror-like. If we go up to 1, it's going to look matte, like the surface scatters the light unevenly. So we are keeping it at a middle ground because we do not want to be completely matte or polished so we are keeping it at 0 0.3 which is the point I like. If we wanted the necklace to look more like the choker we should go up in the metallic to 1 and down to 0 in the roughness but we are not looking for that aesthetic so we go back to the parameters that I chose before. Again, this is quite simple, as you can see, not much in this material, 
but it is quite effective and we have what we want. As you can see, only three texture maps and a couple of parameters, and we have a cool necklace, cool metal necklace, that we can use with our citrine character. Again, this has been the easiest material, but we have learned something new with the masked materials. Well, so that has been it for this video. As you can see, this was a quick one, because the material was really simple. But as I mentioned before, opacity masks are an essential technique in Unreal Engine that you need to master and know. If you found the video helpful, go ahead, like and subscribe, and we'll see each other in the next videos of this series.